Hey friends, welcome to the second of the Wave 1 test for Solaris Knights. I am uh, AP Gaming Real, and I'm joined today by Varen. Varen, why don't you give us a brief talk about who you are before we get started. So, I'm Varen, or Kenneth. Uh, I am just a guy who loves playing tabletop RPGs and uh, war games of the like, and I'm just hanging out on AP's Discord and occasionally play Hell Let Loose and Mech Warrior with the gang. Okay, cool. I'm going to cut over and uh, let the advertising take over our minds. This is Solaris Nights with your host, the artist formerly known as Lil Drac. Solaris Nights. Produced by Donegal Broadcasting Corporation, the most trusted news in the Lyran Commonwealth. Welcome back to Solaris Nights. I am the artist formerly known as Little Drac. Now, as you just heard, Today's match will be taking place in the Stein Down Arena. This is a fishing village on the eastern coast that has been converted into a live battlefield. I'm joined, of course, by local native Amos Everett, the ferryman. The ferryman, it's been reported that recently you made a deal with some sort of supernatural entity, death, or, or a grave walker of some kind. And you now attempt to uh, bring souls to him. Is this true? Well, you see, my friend, when you're in a line such as mine of bounty hunting, dealing in souls was already the trade. I'm just working for someone new. I see, I see. Now, uh, it, it's my understanding that your Centurion 9D has been... Uh, customized a bit. Not only have you moved the rear laser forward, as many Solarius gladiators do, but you've had some sort of superficial addition made to your auto cannon to make it look like an old-style cowboy revolver. Is there, is there a story behind that? Well, when I got into this business, I used to have a different line of employment and well I always just found that the revolver had a bit of a reliable kick to it you always knew the feel of the tumbler the click of the hammer just felt right and well whether I'm just little old me with a handgun or that big old war machine out there feel is a lot of the game well, speaking of feelings, I wanted to ask you about your stable, Apex Dragons. They've made a splash coming onto the scene. The first match yesterday, your stablemate killed their opponent in a Highlander burial, landing on him, kicking him off of a hill, and causing his cockpit to be smashed into the earth. Is this going to be a thing with Apex Dragons? Are you some sort of ultra-lethal group? Well, I haven't seen the match myself, but I can tell you this for certain. You step onto that field, death's on the table. You don't get in a cockpit unless you've accepted that. Now, speaking of transporting souls, the mysterious pirate captain Zare One-Eye also claims to have recently made a sort of deal with death, and he's changed up his motif to a sort of ghostly spirit captain of, of like a ghost pirate ship. Do you worship the same entity? Do your powers come from the same place? Or is this going to be, again, a, a supernatural clash of your beliefs? Well, I suppose only time will tell on that one. Well, let's talk about your opponent here today. Mario Roma, a.k.a. Primo. When asked his, his age, Primo. 
When asked his gender, primo. When asked his weight and height, primo. Earlier today, Primo said, Primo loves you. Do you have some sort of relationship with Primo? Well, no different than the relationship that everyone's got when they step on that field together. It's dance after all. It's real intimate out there. Very well. We'll get down to that match in just a few minutes after this quick word from our sponsors. Are you fleeing religious, political, or social persecution? Are you oppressed by the nobility of the inner sphere stifling your creative spirit? Apply for citizenship with the Magistry of Canopus today, which will automatically pass down to your descendants. Enjoy unparalleled freedom, security, government supplements for your creative endeavors, and healthcare which exceeds not only the Inner Sphere Standard, but the Golden Age of the Star League. Magistrix Emma Centrella invites you personally to leave the Inner Sphere behind and discover your humanity. Do you believe you lack the skills to contribute to society? The Magistrix says that we have the most groundbreaking medical program at the University of Luxon, where you will study the advanced human medicine alongside the best and brightest. Find yourself, find humanity, find the future with the Magistry of Canopus. We are waiting for you. We're back at the historic Steindown Arena, a former fishing village converted into a battlefield here on Solaris. It may not be the historic Steiner Arena, but it certainly is attempting to make changes. Now, of course, this battlefield comes with its own unusual perks. The bog has got many mech warriors caught down in it. A lot of veterans say to avoid it at all costs. Today, we'll be looking at a matchup between Centurion 9D, customized to have the rear medium laser facing forward, and a Hatchetman 5S, which has been painted in Primo's colors. And we get a promo of Primo. Uh, he is on the shoulder of his own mech, wearing a sort of uh, tuxedo, and a tech inside the mech is piloting it. Uh, every time Primo waves at the crowd, the mech waves at the crowd as well. And then Primo rips off his tearaway stripper tuxedo, and underneath he's wearing a cat suit. And he just goes, Primo! Primo loves you! And everybody's like, yeah, Primo! And he does the Primo dance which confuses everyone. No one really understands what the Primo dance is. They just love it. They love watching it. That's the way Primo is. Primo stops at the, the gates of this battlefield and points toward the Centurion and says, Primo loves you. As he uh, swaps into the cockpit, um, the tech waits outside the cockpit and then is handed Primo's cat suit as Primo is changing into his mech warrior clothing. The Ferryman, do you have do you have an intro sequence as you come onto this battlefield? Uh yeah, he does. He uh he walks out and, and as Primo does the like uh Primo loves you thing where he like points out and stuff, uh Everett looks back at him and just says, uh, oh, we gonna be feeling a whole lot of love in just a minute. Um, he's got the like ridiculous over the top like cowboy, uh really like wide flat brimmed cowboy hat. Um, and yeah, yeah. I've uh, seen Ponda the Mad before. I know what this looks like. Well, yeah, this is this is like un unlike the like normal. This is not like an actual cowboy. Yeah, it's got like that really. Uh, it's almost like um. Oh gosh, uh, it's like in the like vampire in like Helsing where he's got the uh... really wide brimmed thing, except even further out than that. Like it's as wide as his shoulders are. 
Uh, and he's got this really like big uh, duster jacket that goes down. Uh, and it's this sort of like dark green color. Uh, and everything's like a, a black and green uh, with like purple accents. And uh, he's got uh, this scarf that he pulls off and tosses into the crowd and uh, reaches for the gun on his hip, pulls it out, does a spin, holds it up and says, Primo, I'm bringing you in. Dead or alive. Primo's mech makes a very slow <gasps> movement with the with non-axe hand. Um, mm -hmm. So Primo's mech is uh, completely white with green and red accents. Uh, mm -hmm. We can see that there is a flag of, of Solaris on his side of the, of the battlefield and also um, a, a Lyran Commonwealth flag as well. Uh, around the battlefield are virtual holographic screens that kind of mark the edges where we can see people in the bedding parlors, in the bars, uh, in the streets that are watching this match that are all cheering and waiting for this to get started. Um, so we'll be entering on opposite sides, north and south. Oh. Uh, and Primo is entering on the north. We're gonna... So Primo wants to do away with uh, the traditional coin flip to see who goes first, which is, of course, a disadvantage. Primo always wants to go first because he's Primo. Mm -hmm. If you allow, we will skip the coin flip and Primo will simply place himself on the battlefield. Uh, we can skip the coin flip. Primo wants to anyway. skip the coin flip. We'll do, we'll do it Primo's way. Primo places himself right here. All right. Now you can place up, up to three hexes from the south side of the battlefield. All right. I think that... Amos is going to stick himself right... Uh, oh, these cranes are... That's correct. They are actual hexes. technical equipment. Okay. So he's going to go over here to... Very well. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, let's roll for initiative. Indeed we shall. Alright, that's five. Six. So you're moving first. All right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Amos kicks the kicks the centurion up and uh, guns it. One, two, four, five, seven, and sets right here. Okay. And that is. A that's run, a run for him. Yep. Because that is. Uh, we're doing the modifiers on the dice, right? Correct. Okay. That's three woods, so I'm good if I. Primo rises in the air on a nuclear flame and lands in the middle of the street. Uh, neither of you can see each other through the park in downtown. Mm -hmm. Downtown. The left hand of the centurion kind of makes a little finger gun at Primo as he flies by, like. Okay. Uh, eight on the initiative. That. A nine. Okay, interesting. Your move, Primo. Primo takes a premium spot of real estate. He's Primo. Your move, sir. All right. So these these power generators. What kind of construction factor are we talking about here? Uh, sixty. Okay. They take up 60 points of damage. Now, don't forget, if you turn while running on these streets, you'll skid. And you'll have I to am, make a... I am aware. Okay. I am aware of the risks. How dangerous are you? Uh, well, you see, 
I'm the fairy man. I dance with death for a living. Uh, and so the centurion drops into a runner's stance and sprints down the street. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, you're going to need to make two piloting rolls. Uh, it's only the one, isn't it? Because I only ever, I only ever turn and then move again. It's right when here. you, it's when you turn is the skin. Oh, okay. Let's, let me, I'm, I'm let's take a sure. look. We've got a rule book here. Open a page sixty-two. Skidding. Anytime you make a face change on a paved hex. All right. The player must modify the roll based on the total number of hexes moved in the turn so far. So. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so when you're here, you will need to make a roll uh, against your piloting skill of nine, and here will be ten. So it's very likely you're going to fall down. Uh, is this the total warfare rolls? Yes. Yep. Okay, because the table in there. Using the skid modifier. Oh, oh, it's just using a skid modifier. Yeah, table. the skid modifier want... table. All you right. don't add the number of hexes. All right, so you need to make a plus one and then a plus two. All right, All right so, so you need to hit a five and then a six. Yeah. Okay, you make the first one. You do Thanks. make the second one. In a daring rush that could leave you sailing down the, the way, you get behind Prima. Uh, yeah, and okay, that's uh, one, two, three, that's seven hexes moves. That's a three. All right, so yeah, he, he goes sprinting down the street and actually does like skid, but he skids into uh, a spot like he digs his left hand into the pavement and it pulls the skid around the corner. And he slides in behind Primo as Primo leaps forward. I wish James was here to tell me whether I can flip my arms around to make a hatchet attack backwards. Uh, <laughs> how many actuators do you have in your arms? Enough. I got I got fully articulatable hands. Uh, I think that's actually a bad thing. Flipping your arms, you have to have like fewer. If you've got like the, all of the arm actuators and stuff, your arms can't flip backwards. But if you've only got like upper actuators, like a rifleman or something, then your arms can flip super easy. So it's actually because you've got the fully articulated hands that you can't flip them. Which is interesting because you think it'd be the opposite. I'm not sure what the rules are exactly. Someone, probably James and Dunamis, after this match will roast me. For now, I'm, sure. I'm just going to flip them over and take the plus two penalty to fire the medium pulse lasers backwards. Okay. So, uh, that'll be a six. Primo's a cat. He can he can bend backwards. Seven, eight, anyway. nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's tens to hit on both of these. Mm hmm. No. Nope. What you got, Primo? No, nope. Primo's got. No. That would Woo! be. That would have been a head hit. That would have been amazing. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it would have been amazing. All right. Well, your shot is also going to be fairly difficult. Uh, yep. I started a three. I'm running, which puts me at five. Uh, you've got an evasion of two. Uh, puts me at seven, and Please. then eight for your troops. What are you firing? Uh, I am firing everything but the LRMs. Okay, interesting. Uh, so we're going to start with an LB-10 uh, slug round. Double ones. Oof. Oof. I love the idea that it's because the superficial revolver are on the outside of your gun like jams up the ammunition feed and it just, <laughs> like at the end of the round it just bursts away and this, this <laughs> superficial <laughs> construction falls off. <laughs> yeah, it's either that or it's because he's trying to be a fucking he's trying to trick shot and uh shoot Primo in like the back of the knee while he's skidding wow. and just blows it. <laughs> um but yeah, medium laser number one. No joy. Oh medium laser number two. Oh, wow, 
Man, this has been six. an incredible yeah, round. Nothing. Holy cow. Yeah, they both just fly past each other and, and just... <laughs> All right. I, uh, I build one point of heat, I think. Uh, no, I build four points of heat for jumping, so... I build two heat. I build no heat. Is that true? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I put up exactly 10 and I dissipate 10. Yep. Okay, let's remove our movement dice and do initiative. Seven. All right. Four. Oof. Thank, thank goodness. Good luck. Good luck on your moves. Uh, yeah, this is tough. Um, you know what? Hmm. All right, Let's, we're gonna have to use more of that speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so you need to make two piloting skill rolls. Uh, the first one is at a zero, and the second is at a plus one. Yep. So a four and a five. Ooh, we got the four. Ooh, ooh. We got the five. All right. You, uh, <laughs> pull some tricky maneuvers. And... The fairy man lives dangerously, man. Yeah, that's, just listen, that's very dangerously. He goes, he goes zooming around the corner using that centurion's... That Centurion's big engine. Keep the speed up. I don't know. Do they have like they probably have cameras inside the cockpits for for battle chatter and stuff? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You just you just you just see Amos Everett saying to himself, "Slow is dead. Slow is dead." Uh, uh. I think I might put down here so I can get a side shot on you. Oh, can you see me through all those buildings? Yes, those towers are only one high. Oh, that is very misleading. Yes, Oops. I know. <laughs> I know, but they say how high they are. Um, uh, do they? Yeah. Are you sure that's not just the it's first tower, tower in there? Uh... Yep. All right. <laughs> Uh huh, huh, huh. I don't know if I want to get shot at though. We can't see each other from where we are right now, right? I mean, that would be my assumption. These skyscrapers don't say how tall they are, but I think Primo uh, is just going to walk forward. Are we still outside of sight? No. Okay, he's gonna walk to here. And end his turn. Cooling off. Yep, we're blocked. I mean, the trees would block us, even if it didn't. All right, nine on the dice. That's an 11. You're up. Yeah, I am up. And I am loath to sacrifice. This wonderful, wonderful area I'm at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Better be careful, Primo. You've already discovered that I'll do I'll move however I got to. Primo will walk in a turn. Your move. So 
I cannot, in fact, get behind you. But you know what? These people didn't pay to not have a show. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Technically, that's eight because I turned. All right, you need to make a piloting skill check at minus one. So three for the first skid. Okay. Um, I'm shooting first. I will be firing everything but my right arm pulse laser and reserving the hatchet to chop chop you. Uh, I'm torso twisting to pull all that off. Which way is he facing, by the way? He's currently... Uh, the, it's the way that you read the name tag from facing this way. Although, I think I might actually have it. I know, I was... Yeah, should be this way. Because you have to read the name tag from behind the mech. Okay, so he's facing, uh, he's facing this hex? Correct, but he is going to torso twist to just face you front on. Either okay. Way. Cool. Okay, so let's take a look. He's got a four to start with. Uh, he's got a walk, brings it up to five. Your evasion is six, seven. The tree is eight. So the LBX auto cam will be at eight, and the two medium pulse lasers will be at six because they have a minus two to hit. Yep. This was probably a bad plan. That's a miss. Oh, misses the auto cannon. That's a hit. Uh, left torso takes a hit. That's six, right? Or six points of damage. All right, that's a nasty hit. I've only got seven left there. Um, that's a hit, and it's left arm for another six. Left arm. We don't mind that. Really? Oh no. Left arm. You're right. You don't have it. anything in that left arm. Interesting. Okay. Oop. Uh, I am firing. Uh, the fer the ferryman will unleash his uh six gun, the LB ten X. Uh, the two medium lasers, and then he will try to punch with his left arm. Okay. We'll do all that, and then we'll resolve uh, physical combat. Yep. So, uh, I started at three. Uh, ran for t two more. Puts it at five. You've got no evasion. Uh, and you've got trees, which puts it at six. Uh, so, I'm hitting on sixes with everything. So, here we go. LB 10X. That's a six exactly. All right. That's a 10 damage slug to the uh, right torso, I believe. He can take it. He can take it. Six armor left. All right. Can't really take another hit there, but. First medium laser hits. That's five damage center torso. Okay. That's that's super minor. I don't, I don't really care. And another medium laser hits. That's five damage left torso. And I believe that is a pilot in check from you, good sir, Primo. Uh, that is correct. That, that does afford me a piloting skill check. I'm good. He's dandy. Primo's a cat. He can handle it. <sighs> Primo really is not what I expected him to be. He is now going to chop with the hatchet. All right. So, uh, it is... Hatchet's not modified by the skill difference, is it? No, not like, uh... Not like a yeah, death above. Yeah. Alright, so it's uh five, six, seven, eight, nine to hit. Uh doesn't hatchet have a minus one? I have no idea. If you say so, perhaps it does. Uh let me double check my I don't feel bit. confident in trying to hit an eight, but maybe I'll just be primo. That's a seven. Alright, we're gonna make minus it either two, way. It's not gonna matter. Uh, yeah. Anyway, a hatchet is a minus one though. Okay. Still not good enough. Yeah. Not for a guy um, starting with a five. Yeah, and now is the punch. Uh, I started a four. 
Uh, Punch, I believe, does not have any modifiers associated with it. Um, you've got trees, no evasion, I ran, so this should be a seven, I believe, right? That sounds right. All right. What do we got? Mm -hmm. Ooh, a three. So, so Primo, Primo swings the hatchet and <laughs> and but has to he has to he has to parry the punch with the hatchet instead of bringing the hatchet true. I love the idea that you run forward, that the fairy man runs forward, and the two of you are just blasting each other with auto cannons and lasers, and then it's just like a series of failed melee attacks between people wildly flailing at each other, trying to hit yeah. really high attack dice. He said it in the pre-game interview. It's about to get real intimate out here. Uh, so for heat, I'm building um, one for walk, three, uh, seven, and eleven. So I build one point of heat. I build no heat. That's gonna. That's really painful for me. It's not like yesterday where I could cause my opponent to heat up. Six. That's an eight. Really not what you want to have happen when you're when you're at point blank range. You want to win initiative. Yeah. Or you want to be the fast one like me, who can be who can just decide. All right, well then I'll leave. <laughs> so Primo retreats to a place where you won't be able to corner him by getting behind him. Mm -hmm. He sees that the engagement is not going his speed. Good luck and come at me, bro. Hmm. Let's see, I got six points of movement. I can mess with you. One, two, three. Well, don't forget moving into the trees. Oh, yeah, that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that doesn't quite do it. Ah oh, man, there's no way for me to both have trees, I think, and get evasion without going to a run. I'm gonna do right now. Uh, Primo using the terrain to his advantage. You know, actually, hold on. One, two, or one, two, three, four, five, six. That's no evasion, but I've got the trees and. That's actually medium range for your pulse lasers. Sure. So that ain't the worst thing in the world for me. Whereas it's short range for my medium lasers. So, we end so up he's on... going to fire everything. Uh, short range for the LB-10 and uh, medium for the pulse lasers which will just be treated as if they're in short range because of their bonus so uh four five six seven uh eight for your tree not terrible it's a miss on the auto cannon unfortunately yeah, that was the big money a bunch of near misses those trees really there we go at least i got something right torso for six all right right torso for six damage oh cool that's the one that didn't get hit yet so we're, we're even sevens on both torsos all right you're up all right so lb10 uh slug round and uh two medium lasers all at short range uh three four for the walk two for your evasion puts it at six at everything Woo! six exactly 10 damage center torso well that leaves me with seven you could conceivably penetrate several locations at six again five damage to the right torso one torso remaining there. And that's a full house. Ten again, another five damage to center torso. Alright, two left there. This is not looking good for Primo. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Primo needs to make a piloting skill roll for the damage he's taken. He succeeds, and then he heats mm -hmm. up. Uh, that's 12, 13, 14, 16, so he builds 6 points of heat, bringing him to 7 heat, blowing him down. Let's throw these dice. Looking a little warm in there, Primo. Sure you can handle the heat? Wow. You come quietly now, I'll put in a good word with you for the marshal. Who's the marshal in this case? <laughs> Hell if I know, it's part of the bounty hunter stick. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. It's, probably, it's probably what he calls his sponsor. One of his sponsors is like Marshall Industries. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where I want to move to that will give me a superior location. Is this an even fight battle value wise? No. You have a... a oh like, no, I have a serious edge. Yeah. And you mm -hmm. have the skill edge as well. Well, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm calculating skill as part of that. Yeah. I probably got like 300 points on you. Close to it. It's just really tough to move anywhere from here. That'll keep me away from you and you trying to get around behind me. Honestly, I might have more armor on the rear at this point than I do on the front. See, I flipped that rear laser around because the ferryman don't run. I still find it hilarious that these towers are apparently I know, I know. He's, But he is using them as a bunker now. Uh, um, one, two, three, four, five. Spot hexes away. Hmm. You're oh, about right. to pull some some running nonsense on the skid skidmeister again? Uh, no. I'm actually just going to step one. Two, three, four, five. That puts me at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. He backs up into his own bunker area. Okay. That's evasion of one. All right, Primo's just going to fire a uh, medium range auto cannon blast. So, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to hit. Nope. Not today, Primo. Um, Amos, the fairy man, is going to fire off his LB10 as well as the LRM 10s that he has in his left torso. Uh, so the left torso, the, the, the mech's wearing like a poncho, just like he is, uh, you know, a poncho as opposed to like the big duster coat. Uh, and so he reaches over with the left arm and like tosses the poncho back uh, as a big plate pops off the left torso and a barrage of missiles blasts out of it. Um, but yeah, here we go. So uh, he's hitting on... Uh, he starts at three. Uh, you're at medium range for the LB10. Puts, um, so that puts it at four for the walk, six for the range, eight for your evasion, nine for the tower in the way. Um, and then the LRMs are at uh, sevens yep. uh, because they're at short range. So LB10s first. Nine exactly. That's 10 damage to the left torso. I need hits like this. All right, well, he's got scrap for torso literally everywhere now. All right, cool. Uh, and then the LRMs are hopefully going to open him up, and then I'm going to switch to cluster rounds, baby. Um, uh, Pondo the matting me, huh? Uh, uh. All right, uh, so here we go. Uh, LRMs hitting on seven. That's a hit. Uh, that's a cluster roll of seven. So that's, you know, six missiles. 
Uh, the first five, ooh, you get lucky. I hit you in the right arm with the first five. Okay. And then one damage goes to the right arm as well. This is not enough to force a, uh, a fall check. Nope. Okay, so we're looking at a heat dissipation for me uh, of four. I like these trades. These are good trades for me. These are not good trades for me. Six initiative. Ooh, only a three. Good luck. Uh, let's see. How much heat did you dissipate? Oh, you're back below. All right. You can move five, or you can move four on a jump. Six. No. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Centurion backs up somewhere. Is using the building as his cover. I believe that's a wash for this round then. No shooting. Yep. I can't see you. And I deheat. Six. That's a nine. taking my finger off the piece yet doing some math <laughs> to make sure you can't get around behind me or anything I think I'll uh, I'll take that one Basically, no way that shot's worth it, is it? Are we gonna do it again? Are we gonna make all them skid rolls? I'm getting the dice staged for when you have to make all these skid rolls. Yeah. Well, it would only be two of them. Wouldn't be too bad. Eh, yeah, screw it. As the ferryman, the ferryman is also a showman. And these people want to large pay for a show. You ain't gonna get to the factory playing safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so you're gonna have to make two skid rolls, one at a zero and one at a plus one. Need a four? He's got it. Need a five? He's got it. Uh, okay. Now, are you actually in my rear? Yes, I am. Back to you and right one. Dude, that, that six nine movement has been a blessing in this fight. He 
say it yourself all the time, AP. Mobility warfare. Uh, this is not what I'm referring to, but yes. <laughs> uh, Primo is going to end over end his arms and take the plus two from firing behind himself. All right. James probably just popped a blood vessel somewhere. <laughs> I it's love okay. the James memes. I don't. I don't think they're anywhere true. But, uh... <laughs> I don't know. James definitely seems pretty laid back about the whole thing. Um, let's see. So it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's an impossible shot, so I just don't even fire. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, you know, I didn't actually figure out whether or not this was a possible shot for me, but probably. All right. So start of three. We've got. You have, you have three, three trees. Trees. Uh, so this is gonna be a pain. Yeah. Um, good luck. So that's six right off the bat. Two for my run puts this at uh, eight. Two more puts this at ten. But this is at short range. Good luck. Oh, so it's ten even. I have more armor uh, in my rear than my front. So we're gonna we're gonna throw an LB10 slug and two medium lasers because that's even heat. That LB10 me. slug. Here we go. Oh, another double one on the LB10. Once again, we get that jam in your auto cannon. You have to spend the rest of the round cleaning. He he plays it. He plays it off and uses it as a as a an opportunity to do the sweet barrel, uh, the sweet tumbler spin on a revolver. <laughs> he just plays it off, um, and then uh, yeah, and then he, and then he he uh, fires the two lasers. There we go. Oh, nothing on that one. Probably nothing on this one. Yeah. All right. Ooh, so we get been bad, a cockpit shot of Primo. Sweat is pouring down his entire body, not just because he's heating up, but because you're running circles around him. Uh, and he's like looking in his 360 vision strip at your mech, and he's just going, "It's Primo." <gasps> I agree, my friend. Let's remove our movement dice. Uh, my heat's still at zero. Roll initiative. Ten. Oh, that's five. Can I make this urban environment work for me for just once in this map? Is this the turn where it happens? I don't know. Maybe get up on top of a building, pull it urban mech style. None of the, none of the buildings here are rated for mech standing on top of ISM. Oh, too bad. Yeah, they're not mech reinforced. They're just regular buildings. I mean, they're only 45 tons. You just need something with construction factor like 60 or so to be in. I'm kidding. That's probably a bad idea because then yeah. I can just shoot the building out from under you. <laughs> Terrible idea. <laughs> I mean, it'd be cool, though. This is in the Mech Warrior 3 intro. <laughs> uh, Oh, James Classic. just sent me a message. Oh, that's good. <laughs> For a second, I thought I might have been streaming. Oh, wouldn't that have been a surprise? Uh, oh, shoot. I just, sorry. I was, I totally blanked on that. It was me going next. Um, all right. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Let's see now. One, two, three, four, four, four. That would be rear, but you couldn't see me there, could you? Nope, you could not. Um, he's facing this way, so. Yep, okay. That's cool. Yeah, we stopped there. Hmm. The ferryman's taking a leisurely jog in his mech. Which he has not named yet. He hasn't come up with a name for the machine itself. This is a new mech for him. You're sure you want to stop there? I mean, that's inviting a hatchet side hit. Yep. Okay. It is inviting a hatchet side hit. Alright, I mean, he just gets in there. I'm facing the wrong way, aren't I? But little yep. have you realized, Primo. You're hitting the wrong side. 
Well, look, he just needs to hit anything he can at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he doesn't I, have a lot of choice. He's ready, he's ready for a sick cross shot. Wow. I mean, prove it. What do you got? I'll try. I got an LB10 and two lasers and also a fist. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to punch. I'm trying to try to uppercut Primo as he lands. Um. So, this is three, one for the walk, four, two for your evasion, six. Six is on everything. Ooh, that's unfortunate. That's the big one, too. That's the one you don't want to mess with. Yep. Laser. Oh, no! Wow. He's choking. He's choking. Primo getting oh! so lucky right now. Oh, my gosh! You know, it oh. occurs to me I have not been tracking auto cannon ammo. Uh, okay. Sir chokes a lot. I have. Uh, I'm, at, I'm at five shots left. I feel like that's probably about where I'm at as well since we fired pretty much... Do you like, do you use the little, little counters that they have? Oh, uh, no, I just normally use a note card. Although you can use counters. I know that, uh, Eric does. That ain't me though. All right. So I'm withholding the right arm pulse laser to fire LBX pulse pulse, and then hatchet you in the, in the weapon attack phase or sorry, in the physical attack phase. So it's, um, it's going to be really high, unfortunately. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so it'll be nine, seven, seven to hit. And then uh, eights on the hatchet. No, that's the one I really wanted to hit with. No. That is a hit. And then it'll be seven on your right side, right? Left uh, side. It's only six, your inner sphere. What? Oh, wait, no, the hatchet. The hat no, 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 this is the pulse laser. Um, but, pulse uh, laser only does six damage. Right, right, but seven is the location spot, but I'm on your left side, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, left side seven is your left torso. Yep, left torso is an only one. I've almost pinned it. Okay, and now that's I need keeps the LRM to hit with this. Oh, that's a hit, and uh, it's center torso with two crits, nine damage. Uh, is that a through armor? No, it's not, unfortunately. All right. And it's, yeah, it's nine for the hatchet, isn't it? So he finally gets that, flying over the building, screaming, Primo! Brings the hatchet down into your center torso as you're crossbody shotting. There's a little bit of laser fire, but he his mech starts to visibly glow as he heats up again. Yep. Uh, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen is a four build. Uh, build no heat. Let us remove our dice. Double sixes. It's a good time. That's a good time to get him. It's a good time to be primo. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, one. Two, three. Four. Five. And that this is around where it all falls apart. Everybody dies. <laughs> Probably me, not you. We shall see. Oh, wait, I didn't roll for my punch. Whoops. Well, you didn't declare a punch, but. Yeah, I did. I declared him. Very well. I was going to try to uppercut him as he landed. Oh, you're right. You did say that. Oh, that's 10. And it would have hit. Uh, you'll need to roll for location. 
A d6. Uh, that roll. is a... We have to roll a d6. Yeah, that's a four right torso. Where are you getting that four from? I just rolled this right oh, okay. guy right here. All right, right torso for how much? Uh, it's, what is it? Um, one per five? Or is it... Doesn't sound right. I think it's one per ten for punch. You're right. It's one per five for kick. So it's five damage. All right. It's internal and it gets a critical. Yep. So all the guns miss. But as Primo lands, he does get boom. A punch in on him. Five two is a fusion engine hit. Oh, that's not going to help his heat problems. No, it means he built five more heat. Means now he's got a two hit problem. And unfortunately, it turns the walk I was going to do up to you into a necessary jump. I remembered that before we got too far along. Okay. He just places right in front of you. Oh, yeah. Whoops, I forgot to put my green die down. All okay. Right. Come and get it, Primo. Uh, all right. LB10. Uh... You know what? LB10 cluster. Wow. There we go. Uh, LB10 cluster, two medium lasers. And also uh, a left arm punch as long as he's got it. Uh, so here we go. LB10s. Uh, this hits on a. Uh, that'll hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. Oh, the cluster rating is so low. Cluster rating is quite low. That's good you might for get me. lucky. Uh, only four pellets hit. Uh, the first one goes to your left leg for a single damage. Next one goes to left arm. And the next one goes to center torso for a single damage. Mm -hmm. And the last one... One armor left center torso. I know. And that would have been a double crit too. All right. Another one left arm. Good, 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 good. But you feel like that was, uh, that was a weird use of cluster versus trying to just do 10 damage. Eh. I suppose you could have hit some really good parts, scooped out some good stuff. I, I rolled really good criticals. I just didn't, I just didn't hit where I was hoping to hit. Uh, but that's fine. And then medium lasers, hitting on sixes. Uh, five damage to the left leg. Okay. And another five damage to the right arm. These are all hitting places that I definitely want to have the armor absorb. Uh, that's not enough to force a piloting skill roll, I believe. Yep. It okay. should be fine. So Primo is at four, five for heat. Six, seven, eight for jump, nine for uh, your evasion. So he's looking at uh, nine, seven, seven, and a hatchet for eight. So nine, seven, seven, eight. All right, here we go. Nope. Uh, right hit. arm takes six. We can take that. Untouched so far. That's uh, left torso. Ooh, don't like that. That goes in. Six. Ooh, no critical. But maybe I'll get the hatchet in there. All right. I certainly hope not. Nope, that's a miss on the hatchet. All yeah, right, you're up for the and punch. here's the punch. Uh, punch hits on a four, five, seven. Oh, damn, one short. So close, so close. 
Okay, I'm gonna build up uh, four, six, ten, fourteen. So I build uh, four more points of heat. Ooh, uh, actually, I build nine now. more points of heat actually because of the engine hit. Uh oh. So I'm at eighteen. That's not good. I need to make a make some rolls six now. plus shutdown roll. Uh, do you have to make a six plus and a four plus? Yeah, let's do them in order. He shuts down. Oh! Oh no, Primo! So the, this is the question, same one I asked yesterday. Some Solaris gladiators help their opponents up when they fall down. Some don't take shots. They're chivalrous and others are ruthless and take advantage of their opponents' failures. Primo has pushed himself to the edge way past what his mech was meant to do. Are you taking advantage of this next uh, next round? I guess we'll find out. Not that rolling for initiative matters, but I got a nine just for formality's sake. I got five. All right, well, I spent my turn doing nothing until at the end of the round my mech turns back on. Um. So such an easy target he is um, I'll just knock him over with a single shot I could um, but the uh, the fairy man uh, instead what he does is he grabs Primo's mech with his left arm uh, around like the neck uh, puts it up against the wall and uh, puts his revolver to it and says Primo, I think it's time you came in quiet. I would like you to make a piloting skill roll to get the grab on him correctly. You'll get the okay. minus four penalty for him being disabled. That's a seven. Okay. All right. Yeah, like you literally have a hand on him. You have your auto cannon up against this cockpit. Uh, his, yeah, his team manager indicates a surrender. Cool. And, and then, uh, like the, uh, the auto cannon just then flicks up and fires straight into the air. Uh, and it's a cluster round. So it just goes in like, and then explodes in like fireworks. <laughs> Primo comes out of his mech cockpit. Uh, he's cut, he's drenched in sweat because it's so hot inside. He's crying, uh, but he stands in his green, white, and red striped mech warrior shorts, and he points towards one of the drone cameras, and he wipes his nose and says, "It's Primo." Yeah. People are losing uh, their minds, even though Primo just lost. They're like, "We love you, Primo." Amos gets out and walks down his mech's arm onto Primo's mech's shoulder and offers his hand. All right, yeah, he'll shake your hand. We felt it was a good fight. Yeah, he'll cl Amos claps him on the shoulder and says, I was pretty primo. The audience loses it at that point. And he, yeah. he like, and he looks at the camera and winks and like tips his hat. Uh, several minutes later, you find yourself across the decision desk with the artist formerly known as Little Drac, and he says, incredible fight. Using the maneuverability of your centurion, against a normally renowned city fighter like the hatchet man incredible what do you have to say for yourself the ferryman well primo gave me a hell of a show out there and i think between the two of us we gave the crowd what they paid for am i right and he like holds his hands up like <laughs> if you had something to say directly to your fans your sponsors and your investors what would you say right now I'll tell you what, it don't matter who you put me in that ring against. Just like I told him at the beginning of the match, I'm bringing you in, dead or alive. Any parting words? Any final decisions? Just want to give a thank you once again to my opponent, Primo. You put on a hell of a fight. It got real hot out there. 
why did you not finish your opponent off? It was my understanding that your sort of bounty hunter for death, you were by all rights in a position where you could have uh, ended Primo's career permanently like your stablemate partner. Well, see, it's about, if I kill a man out there, when he ain't got any fight left in him, that's just a waste. Primo's now going to get back up. He's going to go on. He's going to have more matches. Maybe he comes back to me. Maybe he wants another round. Then when I put him down twice, people will know it's for real. And not just some fluke from an engine shutdown. Ladies and gentlemen, Amos Everett, the ferryman, victorious in the Solaris Open. Thank you very much, Amos. This is Solaris Nights with your host, the artist formerly known as Lil Drac. Solaris Nights. Produced by Donegal Broadcasting Corporation, the most trusted news in the Lyran Commonwealth.